everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi and this is Yadi Angel Art. So I'm feeling a little weird about making this kind of video. I've never done something like this before. Mostly because these art supplies are from a wish list. So I don't really have any of them to really review for you guys personally. But I'm hoping that this video will be of some help to you all. Uh, especially for anyone looking for inspiration for any future gift shopping. Now, the video will be broken up into two different parts. In part one, we'll go over some supplies that are a little bit more definitive in price. And then part two is going to be some things that are a little bit more varied in price, depending on a few different elements. So, let's get started. So the first thing on this list is a Color Shaper Double End Masking Fluid Tool. That is a really long title uh, for this tool, but it basically is used to help distribute masking fluid onto a paper, and that way you can kind of paint watercolor backgrounds without worrying about that part of the paper being damaged or painted on. Usually what you can use instead of this tool would be like an old paintbrush or sometimes the masking fluid will come with like its own little applicator. Now my applicator broke ages ago and I feel really weird getting a paintbrush to ruin with masking fluid because once you use it for that you can't use it for anything else basically so I thought that this little tool would be a really cool way to not use a paintbrush you know next is Daniel Smith watercolor ground and this cool little jar basically comes with like this liquid that you paint over any surface and it basically makes that surface able to accept watercolor. So for watercolor painting, it's pretty limited to watercolor paper or maybe, I think I vaguely heard that there's also watercolor canvases, but you have to be careful with like what you get for that and all of that. And this makes any surface like wood or glass or just anything able to like absorb watercolors and so you could paint watercolors on pretty much anything and that is just the coolest sounding thing. <laughs> okay, the next item is called Karen Brush Marker Pro. It's the 12 basic color set and it's like these watercolor kind of brush pens. And I have had a poor history of trying out watercolor brush pens and just having them not blend properly with water so it's like clear where you put down the pen. And from what I've seen in their like Instagram videos, they blend beautifully and even when you add water, the colors stay very vibrant. And I am just dying to try these like in person. Oh my God, they just, they look beautiful. Next on this list is a Christy Rice watercolor bundle. And this can be pretty beginner friendly because it is a whole set of like watercolor sheets and like a little um, dot card of various handmade watercolor paints that you can use though so, and I just think I think it's so cute that it's also handmade paints but uh, Christy Rice is this really awesome watercolorist and well I follow her on TikTok and YouTube and if you are looking for some beginner friendly watercolor painting tips and tricks. She is awesome. I love her work and her shop seems really adorable and awesome and I would definitely love one of these little bundles. Next on this list is a core watercolor set. Uh, this one in particular is the intro earth colors set but you could also get it as an intro color set or an intro high chroma set depending on which colors you're looking for and this set of watercolors is quite expensive. This is a very like high-end brand of watercolors. So I've been curious to try them out and they are probably a little bit more for a more well-seasoned artist. Next is the Watercolor Confections Pastel Dreams Paint and these colors are just gorgeous. Oh my god. It's, it's a pastel themed set so it's just 
right up my alley. It is so cute. And I've also heard pretty good things from the brand. <laughs> this next item really caught my eye because of the kind of set it came in. It's the Windsor & Newton Cotman Watercolor Painting Plus set. And you can see it's kind of like a travel set, which I've seen a dozen times before, but I've never really quite seen it like this, for watercolors at least where you have a space for all of the tubed paints to lay. So you can just take your whole set of tubed paints with you anywhere. And I just thought that was like super cute and really cool for traveling. Finally on this list, we have the Daniel Smith Essentials Mixing Set. And this is also a pretty high-end brand. So this set of watercolors comes with the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and each color has a warm and cool tone. So you are able to get pretty much all possibilities of mixing from this like base of colors. And Daniel Smith is a pretty expensive brand for watercolors, so this makes a pretty good option. And this set caught my eye in particular because it comes with a mini jar of the Daniel Smith watercolor ground that I mentioned earlier. And I just love that. That is so cool that it all comes in this little cute set. Okay, on to part two. So the first thing we're going to talk about is art kits. One thing I would suggest to try to do is maybe search on Amazon art kits for adults and then just kind of scroll through to see if anything stands out. Now, as far as this section goes, the idea is to possibly introduce the artist to a new or different media. So this works for a lot of beginner and intermediate artists who maybe haven't like dabbled in every art type. <laughs> uh, it's always, for me at least, it's always really fun to take on a new project in a medium that I haven't tried before. And I think the main goal when you're looking for art kits would be to find something that has everything you would possibly need for one or two art projects. And then that would be a really cool way to like try a new medium. Something else that I've had under like an art kit wish list would be the Mossery art kits. And you might actually recognize the Mossery brand. They tend to make like a lot of really nice notebooks. They teamed up with a bunch of different artists and these artists hand selected mediums that they love to use to create into their own personalized box. And they look so cool. And these tend to be a little bit pricier but these boxes do come with a lot of art supplies and a lot of books and stuff. So yeah, it looks really cool to me. Okay, so another thing you could consider is handmade ceramic tools. Now, as far as like for painting, at least, uh, ceramic palettes make a really good choice, especially as far as I know for watercolors. So the two artists I've kind of kept an eye out for in this segment are the Sugar House Ceramic Co. and then Sylvan Clayworks. I follow them on Instagram and I think that their works are so beautiful and just definitely have been on my wish list for years because they are expensive. One thing that you have to watch out for when it comes to handmade things like this is that they tend to only make things in batches so it might just make more sense to get kind of like a gift card from these places and then that way the artist who would be receiving this can just um, prepare for the next batch. And the final thing on this list is handmade paints. I've only really got one brand that I've been kind of eyeing in this category and they are Blue Pine Arts. But I've uh, seen online that there's also options on Etsy and there's a bunch of other handmade paint businesses that you could look into. Now, one of the reasons I really would love something from Blue Pine Arts is because their shop is just full of just really beautiful options, not just in the paint, but just like everything they have. It just looks really lovely. And I've seen a few kind of unboxing videos from other artists for this brand, and they just are so meticulous about packaging and they're very natural in what 
they make for the paints and for everything else. The brand just looks really lovely. They are a bit expensive, so they've been on my wish list for a long time. But yeah, honestly, I think most artists would really appreciate almost anything handmade, including things that maybe you made. <laughs> and there's also a lovely like personal touch to that option. I'm thinking I might actually turn that into a video for you guys where I go over some simple DIY gift options to make. So that is everything that I have for you today. I really hope this inspired some of you for your gift shopping. If you've tried any of these supplies, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on them. And yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you had fun, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next Saturday for the next one. Bye!